Hello and thanks for joining us. This is the signature 30 minutes. I am Marvelous Obomana. In the headlines, Abuja residents embark on the construction of community road abandoned by government. Buhari appoints Usman Baba as acting inspector general of police. Nigerians share their views on how believers should see Easter celebration. And now, the details. Residents of Ajegule and Impape community, a suburb of Abuja, have embarked on the construction of community road in the area, independent of government. Speaking to Signature TV, Tony Atas, chairman of Ajegule community, said that government abandoned the road for years. Atas, who said that the condition of the road has affected economic activities, added that some residents, like elderly women and children, get injured when using the road, especially at night. According to him, the community agreed to embark on the road construction project by themselves after several years of neglect by the government. Signature TV correspondent Anita Eze was at a Jegule community to assess the situation and now reports. The road project currently undergoing construction in a Jegule community is an initiative of residents of the community. The community leader, Tony Atas, told Signature TV that he and members of his executive went around the community to appeal for financial support to embark on the project. He said that they approached the Buari Area Council chairman in their efforts to achieve the objective. The truth of the matter, I will be here for a very long time. I think this will be my 17th year here. As since we've been here, I can tell you the road is just completely no-go area. I can tell you it's more than seven years. I don't think I've ever brought my car home. We wrote letter to Buari Area Council. We struggle to our new EV. So this time we decided to say no. We can come together on our own as a community. We went to Buari Area Council. I need to beg the chairman for permission so that we can be able to see the little we can be able to do. But luckily enough, when we got there, he really welcomed us. He thanked our courage and he told us too that if it was those days that the Area Council had money, they would have actually see the best they would do. They said there is no money, and the only one million naira that was given to us was not from Buari Area Council. According to the chairman, it was from his pocket. So the situation we find ourselves today, if you don't do it, you will remain here. You won't even go out. Our pregnant wives, our mothers, they keep falling on the road. Also speaking, Mrs. Shalala Sakurat, a business owner in the community, reiterated how the bad road was affecting business activity and expressed her happiness over the road construction. They are doing the road and we are happy for it because we want the road to be okay. When the road will be okay, market will move. My shop is here and happy for the community that is doing the road. When they do the road, we are happy for it because the road will be okay, our market will move. Lending his voice, a resident of the community, Emmanuel Adie, said that the road has been abandoned for years and called on government to come to their aid. The community have decided to, to do this effort since the government has forgotten about even the, the people blasting quarry here that were supposed to help us and construct the road, they, they didn't do it. So we are suffering here much. Even here in Papi, there's no road. That's the most certain thing. Papi is a good place to live, but there's no road. So if the government can even help us to try it, we'll be happy. But this is a community effort. So we can't be waiting for the government since the government is not uh, doing anything. The residents of Ajegunle have taken the bull by the horn and by their patriotic action, they have shown that citizens must not wait for the government at all times. Anita Eze for Signature TV, Abuja. A Deputy Inspector General of Police, Usman Akali Baba, has been appointed as the Acting Inspector General of Police with immediate effect. Baba replaces Mohamed Adamu, whose tenure was extended by three months by President Buhari. The Minister of Police Affairs, Maigari Ding Yadi, disclosed this on Tuesday at the Presidential Villa Abuja. President Muhammad Buhari on February 4th extended the tenure of Mohamed Adamu as the Inspector General of Police. The Yobo Bomb police officer has held several strategic positions in the past and has attended several professional courses. Usman Akali Baba holds a Master's in Public Administration and a Bachelor of Art in Political Science, a Fellow of the National Defense College and member of the International Association of Chiefs of Police. Christian festivals all over the world marked the Easter celebration on Sunday, 
Easter according to the Holy Book is a time set out for Christians to mark the persecution, suffering, death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Signature TV correspondent Chukwu de Madwako visited some Christian religious gathering to get comments from believers on how the Easter celebration should be observed. I think what we should learn there is to abstain from sin. If somebody has paid the price for it, at least we shouldn't make, let me use the word, we shouldn't make the person regret of what he has done for us, what he has offered to us. It's all about redemption of mankind. And the effect of it should be us drawing people back to the cross, making them see the reality of what Jesus went through for our sin. It's unfortunate that um, so many Christians have lost the essence of what Easter really is about. They think it's just celebration, uh, like every other um, Christian celebration. That's not what it is really, you know. It's just unfortunate because so many people are running after material things, how to be rich these days, young people to get money. But the main essence of Easter is for that sober reflection. How far have I come as a Christian? My service to God, is it really um, 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 acceptable unto God? Okay, I am here, here and now. Where, what am I looking forward to doing? How can I improve on my service to God? Suffering is no longer part of the Christian race. They are trying to, you know, make Christianity seem as if it is bread and butter. But it is completely wrong for anyone to remove, you know, the suffering of Christ, which we, the Christian, are asked to also, because whatever he did, he said, is an example he left for us. So anybody that is not following that example and is not passing through that means of, you know, enduring suffering in this present time, is not yet Christ's own. The chief of air staff, Air Marshal Aladayo Amao, has expressed confidence that the Nigerian Air Force will ask the terrorists and other criminal elements in Nigeria in no distance time. He gave the assurance during an Easter launch with the personnel of 013 Quick Response Force Mina, where he commiserated with families and colleagues of the three airmen who lost their lives in Alawa operations on 1st April 2021. El Masha Amao reiterated the commitment of President Muhammad Buhari and the Nigerian Air Force towards ensuring that insurgency and armed banditry are put to an end. The Chief of Air Staff, who was represented by Elvas Mashari Mignus AK, commended the 013 Quick Response Force and Air Component of Operation Gamma IK, as well as their officers, airmen and airwomen, urging them to remain resolute in the fight against insurgency and banditry. He stated that efforts are ongoing to recover the crashed NAF Alpha jet aircraft, which was declared missing on 31st of March 2021. Members of the Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria have begun an indefinite nationwide strike over their lingering demand for the financial autonomy of the judiciary in Lagos State, including the Federal High Court and the Federal Divisions of the State High Court, were all shut down as the Jason body ensured full compliance. Jason said his decision came on our request after the expiration of 21 day ultimatum to the government to implement the financial autonomy of the judiciary. The impact of the strike is also felt at the Supreme Court and touches down to lower courts, including the Federal High Court in Lagos, where Jason members ordered staff present to vacate their offices. Some court premises and offices were sealed and notices pasted on them, signaling the commencement of the strike. Lawyers and litigants were also shut out as even matters of urgency could not be heard. Before the strike began, the Nigerian Bar Association had urged Jason to reconsider his planned nationwide strike, scheduled to commence today. NBA's president, Olumide Abata, stated that as commendable and laudable as the proposed strike might be, it was concerned about its timing and the potential devastating consequences it would pose for justice administration in the country particularly coming on the heels of prolonged law in judicial activities owing to the COVID-19 pandemic and the enforced lockdown. The Academic Staff Union of Polytechnics has commenced a nationwide indefinite strike over alleged neglect by the federal government. 
the union accused the federal government of turning polytechnic boards to colonies of universities. It added that no federal polytechnic has received arrears of minimum wage. The leadership of the academic staff union of polytechnics accused the federal and state governments of neglect the education sector in general and polytechnic education in particular. President of the union, Anders Inezibe, who addressed journalists, listed the union's grievances to include non-payment of arrears of minimum wage by federal polytechnics, states owing teachers salaries ranging between 5 and 24 months, alleged victimization of union leaders despite signing a non-victimization clause with the government since 27th, among others. A combined military operation has commenced to flush out criminal elements in Essien Odem, local government area of Akwaibom State, following the recent spate of attacks on security operatives in the council. Essien Odem, the council area of the Niger Delta Affairs, Minister Senator Gaswell Akbabio has been under siege for some time now by criminal elements suspected to be members of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ipoh. Three police officers, including a chief superintendent of police, were last week killed in a reprisal attack by government while four others were declared missing. Military vehicles were also set ablaze by the hoodlums. The military on Tuesday morning began operations to contain the developing trend with bombardment of suspected enemy hideouts in the area even as sounds of gunshots and heavy artillery were heard. Drones and helicopters were also deployed as they flew at low levels to ensure proper surveillance of the area. The military had on Monday asked residents to vacate areas suspected to be used by the suspected IPOB elements as camps. Staff and students of the Federal Polytechnic Unokanna Esianodim, located a few meters from Ababio's residence, were forced out of the school campus. The Akwaibom State Polytechnic in Ekotek Bene was also shut down. The Army Public Relations Officer 2 Brigade, Nigerian Army Akwaibom State, Captain Goffrey Ababa confirmed the military operation in Uyo. The Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, said it impounded 37 100 liters of diesel at an illegal deport in Ore or Dibwa local government area of Ondo State. The commandant of the corps in the state, Edenabo Eweka, made this known in a statement signed by the public relations officer of the command, Mr. Olufomi Omole, on Tuesday in Akure. Eweka said the discovery and seizure were in line with the Commandant General of the Corps' vision of zero tolerance for vandalism and destruction of critical national assets and infrastructure. He said the command, through sustained and credible intelligence, boasts an illegal surface storage facility for automotive gas oil, also known as diesel, in Ore. Eweka said some criminal elements and economic saboteurs used the arena as a storage base after engaging in oil pipeline vandalism in the high sea and the creeks in the Niger Delta region. He said the suspects transported the legally refined products through barges and boats to the coastal areas of Ondo State, mostly through Agadaba, a Joanne Dawson. He said investigations further revealed that Ore was fast becoming the headquarters of illegal surface deports in the southwest. A worker vowed that the command would combat and eradicate all forms of economic criminalities in the state. He warned oil pipeline vandals and those bent on destroying critical national assets and infrastructure in the state to desist or face the full rot of the law. Now, moving over to entertainment, Nigerian Grammy Award winning singer Bonaboy has secured a back to back nomination in the international male solo artist category of the 41st edition of the Brits Award. The Way Too Big singer was nominated along with American singer and rapper Donald Glover, veteran music icon Bruce Springsteen, record producer Tame Impala, and Canadian singer The Weeknd. Last year, Bonaboy was nominated alongside veteran American icon Bruce Springsteen, Irish singer songwriter Demont Kennedy, American singer and rapper Post Maloney, and American rapper Tyler, the creator, in the same category. He lost the award to Tyler, the creator. The award ceremony is usually held in February, however, due to the impact of COVID-19, it was postponed until May 11th. And now, the stock market report. After Friday and Monday Easter holidays, trading opened on the floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange on Tuesday with an 85.8 billion Naira loss. The equity capitalization fell from 20.36 trillion to 20.28 trillion. An 85.8 billion naira fall. 
The loss was driven by a 15 Kobo and a 2 Kobo fall in the share prices of USC, Nigeria and Zeni Bank, which also traded high volume of shares. Other equities that traded high volume of stocks with a decline in their share prices include Guaranteed Trust Bank, UBA and Guinness. The All Share Index therefore fell by 0.39%, closing at 38,766.61 points. This was a fall from 38,930.68 points traded on Thursday. Other market indices also closed red, with the volume falling on to 224.59 million from 239.4 million shares traded on Thursday. The value similarly fell to 2.1 billion from 2.2 billion. The market was negative as there were 22 losers against 14 gainers. On the activity chart, USC Nigeria traded the highest volume of shares with over 34 million shares valued at 337 million naira recorded. Assets, First Bank of Nigeria Holdings, Zenith Bank and Fidelity Bank were other companies that traded high volume of shares. On the performance chart, Zenith Bank led the financial sector with 16.58 million shares valued at 364.3 million naira. Dangote Sugar dominated the consumer goods sector, trading over 68.3 million worth of shares. Julius Berger and Etana PLC led the construction sector and oil and gas sector. Etana PLC was a top gainer, while Mrs. Oil and Nigeria PLC led the loser side. Now over to sports, Osmani Dembele scored a 90th mini volley to help Barcelona overcome 10 men real Valladolid, 1-0 at the now Camp 2 Stadium on Monday. The Catalans endured a frustrating evening against relegating threatening Valladolid, but Ronald Koeman's side eventually prevailed and on a 19 match unbeaten league run. Barcelona has won six straight league games and have never lost in La Liga this year. Real Valladolid had the first opportunity through Kenan Kodro. But the defenders hit Hida the crossbar while Pedri's shot was turned onto the post by the goalkeeper in Barcelona's only attack of note in the first half. Barcelona improved in the second half and Dembele should have scored when put clean on goal but the Jordi Massey pulled off a smart low save while Leonel Messi narrowly missed the fire. Numerical advantage was the turning point as Valladolid's Oscar Plano was shown a straight record for a dangerous tackle on Dembele. The 23-year-old former Borussia Dortmund winger had the final say at the far post when his volley from defender Ronaldo Arrojo's flick on sneaked in at the near post. The win brings Barcelona to within one point of league leaders, Atletico Madrid in second place and two points ahead of Real Madrid whom they first nailed in El Clasico on Sunday. Before we end the news, a recap of our major story. Residents of Ajegule in Pape Abuja have impact on the construction of a road in the area saying they cannot continue to wait for government on ending premises. As Nigerians return to work this Tuesday, Christians say Easter is a period of reflection and celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. President Buhari has appointed Deputy Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, as Acting Inspector General of Police. Please do well to stay safe, maintain physical and social distance, and wear your nose marks while going about your daily activities. And that's the signature 30 minutes on behalf of my producer, Nasir Usman. I am Marvelous Oboman. Thanks for watching.